Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I have the uh, Femi X8 Mini version 2 here. Uh, this is probably just the last in a series of videos I'll put out with this drone. Uh, I wanted to show all the features on it and what we haven't shown yet, uh, and I made myself a note here so I get all their nomenclature right. They call it one-click video, I believe, in the app it calls it one-shot videos, but in the manual it says one-click video. So there's four things in there. There's what they call soaring flight, which is a rocket, similar to a rocket that we would know of. And then there's a droney. Well, that's pretty self-explanatory. They call it droney flight. And then orbit flight. Well, that's pretty self-explanatory too. And then they have a spiral flight. Now there's two ways to do a spiral with this drone. There's outside of the one-click videos menu, there's a spiral, and evidently there's one uh, within that menu as well. We're going to take a look at it here in just a second. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to do, if we have time, is uh, to show you the uh, fixed-wing mode that this drone has. Basically, it flies like an airplane. Kind of cool, a little bit of an FPV style, kind of just something fun to mess around with. Uh, and then, I don't know if you can see behind me, we got some pretty interesting clouds back there. Uh, so if we get a chance, uh, I'll take some pictures uh, with the drone as well, and we'll see how those pictures go. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I've been disappointed with the camera on this drone. They have what they call a stacked sensor that's supposed to help. The, uh, the gimbal seems to be improved from the previous version. The camera, you don't, we're not seeing the vignetting we saw in the previous version. However, uh, what I've seen is the dynamic range is not what it could be. The sky tends to be blown out. Uh, just a few issues that I've noticed there. Uh, but anyway, let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air. Okay, I've got the uh, Femi Navi uh, Mini fly. <laughs> I've got the Femi Navi Mini app booted up here. Uh, let's uh, enter device. And there we go. I love the pre-flight check that it gives us. Uh, so yeah, 36 meters return to home and fail safe. We want it to return to home. It's saying 36% battery. I've noticed this. I just charged that battery last night uh, and it doesn't show. Gives us a card error. I see that every time. Let's format. And uh, yeah, so we're going to format. And it gives us a timeout. So don't know what to say there, although now we can see the SD card. So uh, it'll record everything. I've seen that in the past. Just uh, one of those kind of glitches with Femi uh, that you tend to see. We've got 26 satellites. I will say this. This Femi drone grabs more satellites than any other Femi drone I've ever seen. So uh, we're shooting in uh, 4K30. Uh, let's go ahead and start shooting. Start recording, I should say. Let's do an automated takeoff on the app. I always struggle with that slider. There it goes. And there's a the little drone. It does have precision landing, and I believe we have that uh, enabled so uh, so we should see that and then I like the uh, the home point let's uh, flip it around here and we'll do our usual droney let's bring it in here our manual droney in other words not the automated one that I'm going to show you here in a minute let's bring it in and there's the little drone let's see if we can get a little closer to the camera there we go no obstacle avoidance on this guy so you can bring it in nice and close uh, so anyway, there it is. I'm going to lower the uh, camera and kind of move it around here just a little. And, uh, and we are going to do a droney right towards the uh, corner of the park. Let me drop that camera just a little bit more. Reverse and up now. Reverse and up. This is a powerful mini drone. This is the most powerful mini drone that, that there is uh, that I've seen here. So let's see, we're, uh, we're up there almost 40 meters, 38, almost 39 meters. Let me pick up that camera a little bit. I see just a hint of a tilted horizon, nothing, nothing bad, nothing too terrible there. 
Let's, I'm going to move around here so that you can see these clouds off in the distance uh, on the other side of me here. And I'm going to pick that camera up uh, so that you can take a look at them. This is pretty wild. This is an interesting cloud formation. So that, and this will also give us another chance to, uh, to, to take a look and see how the camera uh, deals with looking at the sky there. It's looking okay on, the, on my FPV screen. However, I am gonna say that I have seen it get blown out before. Uh, but in any case, let's, uh, enough of that. Let's bring it back in and let's do what we started to do here. And, uh, and while well, we got uh, enough battery power. Well, you know what? Scratch that plan. I'm gonna stop recording. I'm gonna take a couple of pictures here because I want to get some pictures of this. I'm switching to camera mode, maybe. There's camera mode. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a picture here and, and see how this looks. Photo succeeded, it says. And I don't know if all that does is a screenshot or what. Let's move it over just a little bit. This is an interesting cloud formation, so I'm interested to see how those pictures turn out. Okay, I am, uh, I am not going to start recording yet. I'm going to bring this guy back and, uh, and let's get started on those one shots here. Bringing it back to us and I love the H on the, uh, on the screen here. And I am struggling with the rates here a little bit, trying to keep the drone straight. There we are, almost back to us. Yeah, I, I should have adjusted the uh, the rates a little bit on the, uh, particularly on the yaw. Uh, I thought I slowed that down, but uh, it's uh, it's moving around quite a bit. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to go back into video mode. Compass interfere. That's another thing that you get on this drone quite often. Okay, so you click on the uh, camera button right below the record button, click on that camera, and there you'll see the, uh, the quick shots and the panorama and time lapse, etc. We probably should have done a uh, panorama earlier. Maybe if we got battery, we'll go back and do that. But let's get going on these quick shots. Uh, and uh, oh, so it does have drifting flight on here too. So we're gonna start with soaring. You can see that's highlighted at the top there. And, uh, and let's go ahead and go down here. Uh, we don't want to get too carried away. Let's go 35 meters. That's going to be plenty for what we're doing. We're going to select, click on the plus. And that should select me, I believe. Let's click on that. There it did. Yep, it selected me. Then we'll hit that start button and it should give us the countdown and go. Flight height is too low. As I recall, it needs to be I can't remember how much, how high it needs to be off the ground. How high are we there? That's four meters. Let's try that. It might be five meters. Flight height is too low, so I think it is five meters. So let's go on up. There's five meters. Let's see if that'll do it. Yep, that was it. Five meters and it's counting down. That is not in the manual, by the way, because I uh, looked at the manual last night just to make sure. So now what you would hope is that it would keep you in center of frame when it does this. And you know what? It didn't. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to say, you know, there you can see me again as it gets higher and it's starting to move me in. Maybe if we'd have started it from further back, uh, it, that might have worked. So so let's, let's try that. Let's... Uh, when the, after the drone returns here, let's move it back uh, a ways and, uh, and see if we can get a better result. Because really, when it first took off there, uh, the, the whole point of a rocket is to keep the subject in the center of frame. So, what did it say? Something operation there. I didn't, didn't read that. Something operation it said there. I thought it said smoking operation. I don't know. Anyway, let's click on that plus sign again and it made it really small. Uh, well, let's, let's, let's go ahead and click on this and let's make it just 20 meters. We don't need to go so high. 
and it's got me selected so let's go ahead and start and let's see what it does from further back yeah it's doing better uh, yeah but I still got out of the out of the frame so yeah that's gonna be uh, I'm just going to say of limited of limited use, because uh, the whole point of these those kind of programs is to keep that point of interest right in the center of the frame, and it's not doing that. We can say that much. And I, it, you know, when it returns, look at that. It picks the camera back up. Soaring flight is finished. Okay, let's tap on that again, and let's go to the next one down, Droney. And there again, we can set the uh, the distance. Let's do uh, 35 meters and uh, get out of there. Do not show. Well, we'll leave that. I would. I was going to click do not show again, but I'm not going to do that yet. Uh, let's click on the plus sign. And again, it didn't get me very big, but it's got me. So let's click the go button. Flight height is too low. It says how low? Well, we're five meters high. Let's go a little higher. Okay, we're over well over five meters. Let's try it again. There, it's got me. Maybe it dipped below five meters there for a second. So uh, the drony is looking a lot better here. Uh, it's got me right in the center of frame, and it's doing a perfect drony. Yeah, I like this one a lot better. And I can't remember. I think we selected what thirty-five meters there or so. Yeah, it's doing a great job. That's perfect. Now, what, when would you use that? Yeah, and it finished, so it'll return to us here. When would you use that? You'd use that in a situation where uh, you had a group of people and you're flying the drone, but you want to get in the picture too, but you don't want to be looking down at the controller. You can automate it, set the controller down, and, and, uh, and get a, a picture of your group. So, uh, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, yeah, big drag a rectangle around the shooting target. We are gonna go back into that uh, and we're gonna try an orbit now. And let's click that plus sign on me. Click okay. Let's click the plus sign. And did it give us any other, I can't, yeah, it didn't give us any other uh, options there. Uh, so in other words, the, the distance would be whatever you set it at. So, we're going to stay fairly close in here. Uh, we're about six meters away from us. Let's click start and it'll count down. And I don't know if it's going to do clockwise or counterclockwise. Looks like we're clockwise. Uh, and I didn't see uh, any selection there to select counterclockwise if you wanted to. Uh, but it's doing a perfect orbit. And uh, while I can't say it's keeping me exactly in the center of frame, it is definitely uh, keeping me in the frame and uh, I've got a, a uh, dialog box in the on the in the app here that says the drone has reached auto takeoff altitude well that's good to know since we took off quite some time ago <laughs> uh, good old Femi okay the orbit is finished and we're back so that worked quite well I thought. Let's, uh, let's go uh, back into that again and let's do a spiral. This is one of my all-time favorites. Oh, and we do have options here, so we're going to run this guy all the way up to 50 meters. We're going to do a big one. Let's click OK. I got, yeah, it's got me and centered me up. Let's let that start menu. Uh, this, these spiral, uh, is, this spiral is a lot of fun. Uh, it, it, what's gonna, what it's going to do is it's going to go in a circle, it's going to rise in altitude, and it's going to move away all at the same time. In other words, basically do a big uh, corkscrew. And it's going clockwise, fairly slow. The speed is not terribly fast, uh, you know, not even two meters per second. Uh, but this is really a good effect, and this is something that is really difficult to do manually. We're down to 48% battery, so, uh, so we'll hurry through the uh, next one here because I definitely want to show you uh, 
uh, how to do the uh, I stumbled there for a second I'm sorry I want to show you how to do fixed wing flight I got distracted uh, but uh, anyway it's still going three seconds uh, yeah now it's been going for over a minute here but it's keeping us in frame I can't exactly say the center of frame but we but it's got us in frame 50 meters is what we've got it set at so it's right well, there it finished and it's gonna come back to us here so we'll let it come back and then we'll select that last one yeah no it's not it's not coming back to us so let's uh, looks like we have to bring it down usually it returns it did not return from that or if it if it was returning it was uh, it was definitely taking its time okay there we are and let's see I probably brought it, yeah I brought it down too low we got to be at least five meters high right okay there we are let's center it up and we're gonna click on that spiral and we're gonna go to the last one which is drifting flight now I believe yeah, and this one gives you different ways you can do it. Uh, well, let's just start with front. And I think this one is like a hyperlapse. Fly a uniform speed centered on the target according to the set method route and shoot a delayed video. So I believe uh, it, it, that it, it is a like a hyperlapse. So let's try it. And we'll try one of the other methods too. And let's see what it does here. There, there's a you, you'll see this in the uh, automate in the other flight menu as well so it's going right over the top of us and it's doing a good job of uh, keeping the camera on us and it's turning around yeah so it's, it's right above me there I'm anxious to see what this guy does and you see that there's a different countdown there. Yeah, so now it's flying behind me. Okay. So that'll be interesting to see what that, uh, what the ultimate uh, result of that is. Yeah, so now it's returning. So we'll try that again and we'll, uh, we'll set it on uh, left. And the drone is pretty cool. I just watched it fly over the top of me. And let's see if it turns around. Yeah, it stopped and it did not turn around. So. So we're gonna to have to turn around. I thought maybe it might turn around by itself, but it didn't. So there we are again. So we're gonna go back into that uh, and I'm gonna select, uh, let's select left and uh, highlight, click okay, highlight again. And let's see what it does when it goes left. We're down to 32% battery. So we're gonna to have to get with the program here. So yeah, it's kind of doing the same thing, only it's moving to my left instead of right over the top of me. And like I said, this, this same uh, feature is in another part of the app uh, rather than these uh, uh, one shots. One click, I said one shots. In the manual, it calls them one-click videos. Well, it's uh, it's going out there a ways, for sure. Yeah, and it's telling me low battery. Oh gosh, we're still at 28% battery. We're in good shape, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna kind of ignore that. Okay. I'm going to stop that right there. I'm going to spin around towards us again. And, uh, and let's, uh, let's, let's go into uh, fixed wing flight. And so I'm going to click on that spiral again and I'm going to go back into video rather than, yeah, see it calls it quick shots here uh, instead of one click video. So it is quick shot in the menu. Uh, Trying to decide if I want to do fixed wing or panorama, but let's do let's do let's go ahead and start video again, and uh, and let's go into fixed wing mode. So I'm starting video, clicking on that little 
uh, Android looking icon at the bottom and see so you can see spiral there and someplace else here yeah there's fixed wing uh, and it has orbits anyway it, it's got some of these same flight modes in different areas but let's click on fixed wing and uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll take off here and we'll show you what that does so uh, you have to be above three meters per second we can do that let me pick up that camera and yeah the drone has entered fixed wing mode and you can see it's kind of flying like an airplane now you get that tilt it's kind of that FPV kind of flight uh, which is pretty darn cool 20 percent battery we'll see when it goes into uh, when it when it goes into uh, uh, return to home here so anyway I did want to show you fixed wing mode there let's see if we got enough battery that if we can maybe take a uh, I'm gonna get out of fixed wing mode so I'm out of fixed wing mode I'm gonna go uh, up here and I want to get, yeah, I'm going to cancel that. We are really close to home. So we're going to stop recording. I'm going to click on that little camera again. And we're going to do a panorama here. Camera automatically takes panoramic photos. After the shoot is completed, you'll need to go to the media library to synthesize. Okay, that's good to know. So let's go ahead and uh, let's just do a horizontal one here. That's what it's on. Let's click start. And it's counting down. We're still at 16% battery, so this should get done okay. Yeah, it's uh, the battery's in the red. We're below 15%. Okay, low power landing, it says. No, we don't want to do that. Yeah, let's, let's hit return to home. And bring the guy home. Yeah, so it's coming back to us. Let me see if I can start recording again real quick. Well, we got uh, we got the maximum out of that battery, I would say. And 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 by the way, it it's ascending to its uh, 36 meter return to home height. Uh, but uh, but we'll have it down here in just a second. How you doing? Hey, how are you? Good, good. So, uh, so it's almost back to us. You can see the home point on the screen there. This drone is supposed to get a precision landing, uh, but we'll see. Got the camera pointed straight down. Again, uh, it ascended to that 36 meter height. Yeah, it's selling us landing pad not detected. Uh, and we're down at 9% battery, so, you know, potentially it gets to a certain point on the battery and may not do it. We'll see if it finds it here. Yeah, landing pad detected, so maybe. Yeah, will it move? No, landing pad not detected. Looks to me like we're mowing some grass. <laughs> yeah, it should pick up the camera here in a second. We'll see. We'll see if it picks up the camera or just keeps it pointed down. Yeah, there it picked. No, no, the camera's looking at the grass. Boom, and we mowed a little grass. Let me get everything shut down and we'll do a quick conclusion. Hey, okay, the uh, Femi X8 Mini version two. Uh, okay, we did some kind of interesting things there. Uh, we tried out all of the one-click videos or quick shots, whatever you want to call it. it says quick shots in the app says one click videos in the manual uh, and there was that extra one uh, the name is escaping me right now but you will have seen it in the video already uh, in any case that is not in the manual so you know just take that manual for for what it's worth and by the way we also discovered and I, I kind of remember this from before you have to be over five meters high in order to execute any of those uh, one click or quick shot videos. They worked, I think, quite well. Hey guys, I'm breaking in on this video because looking at the video from those one click videos or quick shots or whatever you want to call them, 
Uh, I was not very happy with the video quality. The Femi X8 Mini version 2, like many other drones, including the DJI Minis, when you're doing a quick shot, it reverts to 1080. That's fine, not a problem at all. But what you'll notice on these videos is the quality was particularly bad. Now, if you're looking at it on a small screen, like your phone or something, you may not notice, but anything bigger, you're going to see a lot of artifacts in the video. And I, so I wondered why when I was looking at it, I go, man, this is terrible. This is like something off of a, a uh, you know, a, a cell phone from 15 years ago. Well, I, I looked at the uh, statistics from the video and I'll put it up on the uh, screen right here. Uh, and it's really, it's only shooting in an 8-bit bit rate. Uh, so, you know, Femi promises a uh, 100-bit bit rate with this, 100-megabit uh, bit rate with this drone. And I don't think in 1080p it probably doesn't have to be that high, but 8 is too small. So anyway, you'll notice that in the video, at least I did. I look at it on a 32-inch 4K monitor, so it really shows for me because it's blown up pretty big. If you see it on a on looking at it on a small screen like your phone, you may not notice. I uh, just wanted to point that out. Uh, so the other thing I want to mention is in the past, I've been disappointed in even the 4K video quality of this drone. Uh, I've, I've had frame dropping. I've had some really weird anomalies with the video where, where the video file will repeat itself and some strange things. Uh, things I've never seen before uh, in video off a drone. However, this particular time when I was shooting in just regular 4K video, I thought it looked pretty good. And the other thing is, I thought the pictures looked pretty good too. Uh, so, kind of a mixed bag here. Uh, I'll let you guys uh, make up your mind uh, on, on the drone. The other thing I noticed is uh, that the other day, uh, the, the pricing seems to be all over the place with this drone. I paid $299 for it. I bought it off of AliExpress. Uh, I've seen it now recently. Uh, I think Banggood has it now. I don't, I'm not sure if you can get it on on uh, Amazon. If if you can, I'll put my affiliate link in there. I'll look for it and see if you can. Uh, however, it's weird. Just follow the price. Like I said, I got mine for 299 bucks. I think if you just hang in there, you could probably find it for that price uh, as well. Anyway, that's about it. Let's get on with the conclusion. Other than uh, the one that they called, what I call a rocket, they call it a soaring flight. It didn't keep us in frame at all. It, you know, even when I moved back and moved forward, it didn't keep us in frame. So that's, you know, limited use there. The other ones seem to work pretty good. Uh, the, uh, the pictures, I'm kind of anxious to see how those turn out because we had those cool clouds back there. And uh, I did get a chance to show you fixed wing mode, how it kind of flies like an airplane. At the very last second there, we were able to get a panorama in, and evidently I have to put that together in the app, so I can't forget to do that. Uh, and uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. Uh, you know, again, I have so many mixed emotions about this drone. It's got a lot of really cool features. Uh, if, if the camera was a little bit better, I've, I've just had some weird, weird things happen with the camera on this drone. We'll, we'll see when I start editing uh, this thing. But, but what has happened to me in the past is, uh, you know, you'll get just, just some odd anomalies. The video will all of a sudden skip forward, or you'll look at a video file, and it'll go along, and then it'll repeat part of the video file. I, how it does that, I have no clue. Uh, but I've, I've seen that before. Uh, so, in any case, like I said, mixed emotions and mixed emotions about the dynamic range, the quality of the video that you get off of the drone. But it does have a lot of really cool features and it is definitely priced very competitively. When I bought this one, it was $299. I've been looking lately on AliExpress and it's like uh, $349. I just, if you really want one, I just keep an eye out, wait till they have one of their sales again, and you should be able to pick it up for 300 bucks. So in that sense, it's a bargain, and it is a very powerful drone, and it flies great. It flies really well. So, uh, yeah, you want to get a, a, a relatively inexpensive drone that 
is fast and, and flies good and does a lot of uh, tracking and panoramas and, and uh, uh, time-lapse videos and those sorts of things, uh, this is the guy for you. In any case, enough jibber-jabber. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I really appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And yeah, of course, we will see you on the next one. Bye now.